Hello and welcome to another share graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at this fake interior shader. Um, this is just a cube and you can assign a cube map so that um, you see it as well a fake interior. As you can see it's not perfect obviously uh, because uh, things are just a, it's just a texture you cannot have 3d objects inside but I mean that's the idea it's it's for optimizing um, buildings so that you don't have all that geometry uh, but that but just a shader that renders this stuff and so you can for example um, increase the tiling as much as you want and you can play with things like depth um, and uh, as you can see I have um, some tinting for them which is random um, and I'll show you here how I did it so just before I start this thing I tried to do it by myself but then I couldn't and so when I looked around um, I saw that you need to do all of this magic uh, and to be honest I don't understand everything I'll try to to explain what I know uh, but I took basically this portion I took it from a YouTube video I'll, I'll link it down in the description um, and so let's look at it here we have our tiling uh, variable and we we need to get the negative of that so this node only does a multiplication by minus one we connect that to a tiling and offset uh, node in the tiling so it's for both x and y you can have tiling for x and tiling for y two variables um, and then we get the fraction uh, so that it's the, the, the value is only between zero and one so that when you increase the the tiling so let's give a tiling of ah oh, we cannot do that uh, if we remove the tiling from here you can see it's like this and like if you increase you will see it's repeating basically right because um, from zero this is zero this is one so when you increase it to be this is zero and this is 3.7 uh, and when you use the fraction, it will be 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, etc. And uh, we need to do that so that we have... Oh, let's, let's continue. Um, so now we have from 0 to 1. We multiply it by 2 so that it's from 0 to 2. We subtract 1 out of it uh, so that it's from minus 1 to 1. Right? And then we split that. Uh, so that we can create a vector 3 out of it uh, which we will plug into the z axis our depth or the negative of our depth um, variable right so this uh, this will basically give us uh, let me show you if you connect this immediately to the view direction of our cube map you will see something like this basically from a, a, a vector which will point forward here uh, and here it will point to the minus one minus one here to the uh, minus one zero and uh, etc right now the magic of making it um, like as you can see having edges and uh, um, uh, a screen in the middle is from this code or this this structure of nodes which I don't quite understand well but uh, you can see here um, we have a view direction on the tangent space uh, we divide one by that and then we connect it to an absolute we uh, multiply the, the, the vector that we created previously with this division and then we put um, the absolute minus the multiplication and then we split them so that we can get the minimum of them of these three the x and y and z 
and then we multiply the minimum by again a view direction on the tangent and then we add both the, the, the resulting of all of this stuff with our original um, vector 3 that we created and so this will be our view direction for the cube map sorry about this one uh, oh right we need it actually yeah um, for the normal you, you have to have a vector 3 which has one on the z-axis um, and for your cube map I'll show you how to create cube maps uh, you can have whatever cube map you want uh, so if we plug the output of this directly to both albedo and emission you will see um, these rooms right and uh, that's what the video that I watched um, show you how to do pretty much and so what I added was the other stuff right so what are the other stuff um, this is just a normal texture nothing special connected uh, again a tiling connected to tiling and offset node right normal map normal uh, and then we have our albedo so this texture has um, alpha is zero in the windows which would show us the, the room right and I also have the color of the windows uh, white and has some black spots so that I can uh, multiply that by the, the um, by the room by the cube map which would give us a little bit of these dark spots if you can see them right um, you don't need to do it if you don't want to uh, it's just a little bit of more detail um, so you have to find I guess I, I, I didn't find this one particularly um, I, I cut a cube of it and edited it, edited it on GIMP to have the the white for the windows and the, the alpha and all of that stuff um, so you have to do that by yourself probably okay and then after that we want the the outer uh, stuff um, multiplied by uh, the 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 q so okay we want the outer stuff to go to the b and then the alpha in the T right uh, which would give us this black um, on on the alpha spots and the texture on the other places and then we will connect to the other place of the lerp the multiplication of uh, so this is gonna basically be these black spots multiplied by and and the white multiplied by the cube map right and for tinting, I uh, already multiplied the cube map by this gradient. And the only thing special about this gradient is that I got the tiling and offset and connected it to a floor node, which means uh, if you... Let me try that. Uh, uh, well, yeah, it doesn't show up greatly here. Um, let me just connect the random so so when you connect it to a floor you have from 0 to 2 for example because you have your tiling 2 and then floor will get us the floor so the first cube or the first sorry square will be 0 and this because um, uh, and this is going to be uh, well this is going to be 0 0 this is going to be um, 0 1 and then this is 1 1 this is um, 1 0 right and the more you increase the tiling, it's going to be 0, 2, 0, 3, etc. Uh, so that your whole uh, texture, this whole place, will have only one value that you can use for a random node. And the random node is going to give us a value between 0 and 1, which we would connect to the time of this gradient. And so simply, if you connect this gradient here, just to show you, save that you will see this stuff, right? Uh, 
and let's connect that back and this guy here all right so we have our tint we multiplied by the cube map before we use it so we used the first cube map for uh, the albedo using the slurp and then we want uh, i found it to look better if we uh, also do a, an emission and so i connected the output of this into a lerp node um, so that and again the alpha is for the t so that the windows are um, they emit light and the other places are black which will not emit anything and this is going to go to the emission and the last thing is uh, smoothness for me i want smoothness to be zero on the texture and to be uh, one on the windows so that they are reflective um, and i simply connected the alpha into one minus and then into a smoothness right which would give us this uh, smooth window look, right? And um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting the channel. Uh, consider looking at the links that are in the description for my assets. Now that's going to be it for this tutorial. Uh, have a nice one.